Hello there, I'm the Maki, and welcome back to some more Vocaloid content here on this channel. And it's also special because for a few days was Miko's 16th birthday. So Miko herself is always 16, so she never gets old, but also 16 years ago she was created. So it's it's a special, uh, you can say, time and year. And that's why I thought to celebrate it, we're going back in time. My first concert was the Sapporo concert 2011. Uh, and of course the Magical Miwe concert 2013. And today I'm gonna rewatch the song that started this era of Magical Miwe concerts, Sweet Devil. Everyone has their favorite concert, but for me this Magical Miwe was the best. So here we go. Look at this stage, looks so cool. And the crowd. Look at that. And the sound. We can love it. Everything. The, the dance 
you know it's it's so realistic i saw it also in the comments for some that people were oh we're so, so fascinated because you know 2010 11 where when the first concert were like going on slowly and 2013 already this quality so realistic also this of course this is all motion capturing uh, that's why it's all smooth it's not animation it's motion capture so real dancers and people doing this um but this makes it realistic but also the quality uh, look back there's like nine years ago and this quality of a c concert with this this is this is respect this is really technology i mean that's also a thing it's not just the music it's everything it's like the uh yeah, also the technology, how, how, how amazing it is, uh, to having vocaloids, it's such so fascinating, this entire world, and for me, it was like so un unreal, to seeing like Miko and Ko uh, performing there and becoming like real, and uh, the voice and their personality, because you read stuff on the internet, you have like um, the memes, and so you have like a little bit of the personality of the characters, and the song fitting, because it says Miko, Miko is a diva, so this little, you know, yeah, I mean, look, look at, f you know, we have the three big screen screens that we have down the band on top, and then down there you have Miko and Ko, where they're all the vocaloids, and then you have the crowd, and again, this is like, a, it's the stadium, so it's like, it's so big, um, it has such a impact, and with the lightning and everything, it was all, it was all the songs were also new for me, it was not just like Miko jumping around and in a little room, it's like a big stadium with Miko, and this was the first big thing I saw, and uh, from now on, I mean, we had Miko Expo worldwide, and it is, it's amazing, it's just always amazing seeing Miko and so, and having them the live band, they're always impressive, I mean, I love the, this is also, every concert, it sounds a little bit different because you have a live band. You have like the guitar work here also with the, the synth and then this the sound what you don't have on the studio version because it's you know this is the best thing about this. The concert version sometimes sounds so good and even better because they have the with the guitar and it's getting more rock and and then you have here the background uh, background singer and stuff. So it's really the sound is always what. Is the best thing about it, the live sound. And when with Miko and Co together and the outfits, the dancing, everything. So yeah. When I see this, I can always tell or see why I become a fan because it's just so good and exactly my thing. I'm a fan of this. So yeah, this was a little bit back in time for Miko's sixteenth anniversary. I'm really curious when we get the next Miko Expo, I would guess probably next year. Definitely, because now Corona is over and stuff, and I can see definitely that next year we get really Miku Expo again. So like touring in the US and Europe. So I definitely gonna checking out and react into more Vocaloid Miku content in the future because I'm a fan and also want to talk and do my own stuff with it. Um, because it's really f also musical, so good. The music, the Vocaloid music is so good. So many great gyms and bangers. And I'm here for it, for the future. Or what the future will bring for us. Uh, I will always be a fan. And uh, maybe you too. So, until next time, goodbye.